remote island getaways, ancient rituals with dance and drink, Eden-like resorts, high-speed adventure, and the warmest people on Earth. Fiji offers a lifetime of exploration, consisting of more than 300 islands, with over 100 of them inhabited. You'll find some of the most noteworthy and unique properties in the world, surrounded by sapphire waters. Nandi on the island of Viti Levu is a 10-hour flight from LAX. Fiji Airlines offers a convenient direct flight daily. The island of Viti Levu is roughly the same size as the big island of Hawaii and surrounded by numerous other islands you may explore. Today we will be visiting several intimate islands in this vast archipelago with virtuoso preferred properties on them, as well as the other main island of Vanua Levu. Fiji's largest ethnic groups are the native Fijians, who are Melanesian and arrived in the islands about 3,500 years ago, and Indo-Fijians, descendants from contract laborers who were brought to the islands by the British from India. Hindu temples and features of its culture, particularly dress and food, are prevalent on the larger islands. Sugarcane was once the driving force of Fiji's economy. The main islands are still covered with many sugarcane fields. Today, tourism has replaced sugarcane as the largest contributor to the economy. When arriving to Fiji, you will no doubt wish to visit and explore the outlaying islands with all they have to offer. However, after a direct flight from North America, it may be wise to settle in and acclimate to the islands and the time change on the main island of Viti Levu. The island has many activities to offer. Sigatoka River Safaris offers an unparalleled jet boat experience. Passing by stunning jungles, vaivai trees, sugarcane fields, and local villagers along the riverbanks. Bula everyone. My name is Josh. I'm also known as Captain Jack. I've been driving the Singatoka River for nine years. Our trip takes people to the village. We offer them village tour, cover ceremony, tropical lunch, and dance with the locals before we come down and have some 360s on the way back. The jet boat tour is a fun yet in-depth way to tour and get a glimpse of traditional Fijian lifestyles and get an understanding for the island's vast and diverse geography. While on the island of Viti Levu, you will love staying at the Intercontinental Fiji Golf Resort and Spa, a virtuoso preferred property. This impressive complex consists of Club Intercontinental, resting on a hill above standard rooms, suites and services sitting below. Club Intercontinental provides for a unique luxury experience for guests 12 years and older. Guests enjoy private use of the infinity pool, butler service, and clubhouse lounge with complimentary breakfast and open bar all day long. Just a short walk down the hill brings you to a sprawling garden setting with multiple family-friendly pools. Villas sit right on the beach with patios or decks with elegant soaking tubs. Nearby is a ceremonial center for weddings of all denominations. Small fern-lined paths lead to windswept beaches. Several infinity pools and small cooling fountains are seemingly around every corner. There are a number of dining options, all with great views, from the relaxed to the fine dining. Navo is an elegant, gourmet experience overlooking the lagoon and island of Navo, featuring contemporary cuisine inspired by the sea, offering a notable wine selection as well. The spa at the Intercontinental is a cut above the rest, situated aside from the resort in its own complex seemingly floating on water. You may reserve any number of services, from bamboo sticks to warm shell treatments, solo or with your partner, inside or at a cabana. The Intercontinental Fiji takes enormous pride in their concierge services, Deep connections to all the island's communities, points of interest, and activities can be accessed here. Your foodie clients may wish to visit the local market in Nadi. For world travelers who have visited markets across the globe, this one will no doubt blow them away at the range and variety of brilliant fruits, vegetables, spices, and seafood, and it's a great place to mingle with the locals. For an in-depth cultural experience, Virtuoso Southern World Onsite may provide you with an intimate village experience at Visese. 
Visese is considered the original landing place of the Melanesian people in the Fijian Islands thousands of years ago. At the heart of the Fijian greeting is the sacred kava ceremony, frequently performed for visitors being welcomed by the community. Kava is a root that is ground and mixed with water in a large kava bowl. High-ranking members of the community and special guests are offered the kava first in a small dish. The kava itself is a watery brown mixture and creates a mild calming effect that does not last long or impair the recipient. The lips and tongue may experience mild numbness for a few minutes. The clapping of hands and the pronouncement of bula is called when accepting kava. Hey, bula, everyone. The Fijian term bula covers a plethora of meanings. Hello, and is an all-purpose well-meaning word that seems to roll out at any occasion. While in the village of Isese, a casual stroll with your guide will bring you to the local church. Nearby we can see the cemetery where former chiefs rest and the chief's house where official business takes place. Visitors will find that these small Fijian villages are filled with warmth, love, and welcoming spirits, which is apparent on all the children's faces. Local women sell jewelry and other items in the middle of town. Finally, the high point of a visit to Visese is the feast prepared for guests. Tapioca root, sweet potato and eggplant dishes, freshly caught fish, a variety of spinach, and taro just to name a few. All smothered with luscious fresh coconut milk. No doubt the coconut was just recently harvested. Here we see a local demonstrating the cracking of a coconut from the husk. Then the actual nut must be pierced. This can be done with a rock if you know what you're doing. When the time comes, you'll no doubt wish to explore the many luxury options the islands of Fiji have to offer. Most are only reachable by helicopter, seaplane, or boat. Flying makes the most sense for saving time. Flying also affords a bird's eye view of the islands, emerald mountains, jungle, rivers, coastline, and sparkling waters. Back at the domestic counter, you'll be weighed with bags and all before stepping on a seaplane or helicopter. Our first stop is Dolphin Island, a virtuoso preferred property. If you're looking for an exclusive private getaway, this is the perfect place. Dolphin Island only provides four rooms. If you have a party of eight or slightly larger, you'll have the island completely to yourself. A private beach with snorkel gear, cooler with beverages, paddle boards, and catamaran lie waiting on a private beach. A romantic covered pontoon with thatched roof stretched far out on a dock awaits a private lunch or dinner. Between the rooms is the main bungalow with infinity pool and comfortable living room. From here, your hostess Dawn and her staff will dote on your every need. You can come to Dolphin Island to get away from it all, meaning the hustle and bustle of your busy lives back home and come here and I will spoil you silly. By request, villagers arrive from a neighboring island, perform time-honored dances with an infusion of the new. Dolphin Island, although remote, will not prevent you from experiencing a true Fijian feast and dance performance with kava ceremony. Request you receive a traditional lovo, which consists of an earthen pit filled with hot coals and stones. Chicken, pork, and fish, along with a variety of potatoes, pumpkin and taro, to name a few, are added, all wrapped in banana leaves to keep them moist while cooking. The result is a fantastic traditional Fijian feast. When the time comes to retire, you'll be able to retreat to your well-appointed bungalow for a solid night's sleep. Rooms include Wi-Fi, an indoor and outdoor shower, and spacious walk-through closet or dressing room. For a special treat, consider the open-air bungalow hidden on the other side of the island, atop a cliff within the jungle. This is roughing it Fijian style, complete with facilities. This grass-thatched hut is the perfect getaway for honeymooners or nature lovers. It will be difficult for you to leave Dolphin Island. When arriving or departing, the staff's sincere wishes will be felt with hugs, kisses, and flower legs. Leaving or arriving Dolphin Island by seaplane may be different for each guest. Depending on the tide, the plane may have a boat tender or come right to the beach. Whether by seaplane or helicopter, 
you'll marvel at the remoteness of Royal Davui Island Resort. Another island resort where your sense of secluded luxury will be complete. The tiny island sits on the south shore of Vidi Levu, and another famous island, Benkwa, renowned for fire dancing. Traditional songs greet you as you enter the main lobby. You will be escorted to one of 16 bungalows, or veils, veil being Fijian for home. There are four basic styles, however all are equipped with plunge pools, spacious decks and ocean views. The interiors provide for generous bedrooms, living room and various layouts for the bathroom. All the veils and the main lobby give you a sense that you're in a treehouse. Royal Davui can supply dive and snorkeling excursions complete with boats and guides right from the island. Or perhaps you just want to get away from it all and be dropped off on a distant sandbar. Back at Royal Davui, a spa treatment awaits at the spa center perched on a cliff, providing sweeping views. Dinner may take place in a secluded alcove of the deck or any number of intimate locations. It's time to take another flight to yet another island. The Jean-Michel Cousteau Resort Fiji lies on the island of Anua Levu. This resort is special on a number of levels. Perhaps it should be seen more as a Fijian village, ready to welcome you with all the trappings of a resort. This is the perfect place for families. The Children's Activity Center is unequaled and provides for day-long nannies, meals, and endless activities, including arts, crafts, and even cooking lessons. There is an amazing zip line, stunning treehouse, swimming and snorkeling. Moms and dads can enjoy the illusion they left the kids at home during the day. I was blown away by how many kids are here and how many families. This is the ideal family resort. Um, you walk to their Bula Club, which is their kids program, and there is one nanny for every one child, and they all have the biggest smile on their face. And that's not always the case with the kids program. With a name like Cousteau behind it, every aspect of the resort is focused on the health, not only of the environment, but also of its employees, continually giving back in terms of health care, educational opportunities and infrastructure, including the procurement of water filters for further outlying communities. The resort itself will make you feel pampered. There are two dining areas, one for families, the others is for adults only, as with the main courtyard's infinity pool. The Fijian term for bungalow, bure, is used to describe each one. They are constructed with local hardwoods, have high temple ceilings and thatched roofs, contemporary decor, garden or ocean views are available, all have access to Wi-Fi. The largest villa offers an indoor spa, private waterfall, outdoor and indoor shower, infinity pool, stunning deck, and detached living room with a second bathroom convertible to a bedroom. When the time is right, each guest receives a foot massage upon arrival. Guests benefit from an extensive dive program. Equipment is provided for certified divers and classes are offered. Dive masters will take divers to any number of locations they are intimately familiar with. The cuisine at the resort is exceptional and responsible to sustainable practices. Everything you would expect from the Jean-Michel Cousteau Resort Fiji. The resort's garden supplies herbs, vegetables and fruits. Our journey continues as we make use of the Savu Savu Airport. From this tiny airport, a flight is arranged to the island of Lothala. If you have little consideration to budget and wish to experience one of the most premier resorts in Fiji and arguably the world, then you may consider Lothala. Spanning almost eight square miles, Lothala is one of three small islands off the northeast coast of Taviuni Island in Fiji. Hemmed by lagoons and coral reefs in the South Pacific, Lothala offers all the exclusivity of a private island resort, but is within easy reach of international hubs with its private landing strip. An Eden-like island refuge in the South Pacific, Lothala unites dramatic rainforest landscapes and white sandy beaches with unparalleled levels of luxury and privacy. An enclave of 25 villas spread out over several miles, 
Some perched high in the hills, receiving the full effect of the trade winds. Others built right over the sapphire blue tidal waters. There's an 18-hole golf course, complete with pro center and caddies, each fairway hidden from the other, each bending to provide a new view halfway through each hole. There are stables with horses and an herb garden, where a variety of fruits, vegetables, and pungent herbs are grown. Five impressive restaurants and grills include the Seagrass Restaurant, hanging on the side of a cliff with magnificent views of the ocean, featuring Asian and Thai-style dishes. Rich curries and spicy dishes may be enjoyed with brilliant views of the Pacific Ocean. Another notable dining experience is the Plantation House. It occupies an airy replica colonial mansion, providing fine dining, a bar, complemented with premium wine lists, all overlooking the manicured lawn of a coconut grove and shoreline. The main lobby and reception is also right next to the fitness center. Just outside is a magnificent replica Fijian village, complete with chief's house and temple. This is a place where you may experience traditional Fijian dances and ceremonies. Beachside there are numerous activities, with a fleet of 14 boats at your disposal, from a yacht for sport fishing, motorboats, sailboats, down to wave runners. Diving and scuba gear are ready at the request. And most impressive, you can request a ride in the resort's private submarine at no extra cost. The lagoon and lap pool covers an astounding 21,000 square feet, with small islands, poolside bar, and lap pool with glass enclosure. A one-lane, hand-laid cobblestone road connects the entire resort. Staff have access to Range Rovers, and each villa is given at least two golf carts to traverse this sprawling resort, sitting on almost eight square kilometers. The villas are each uniquely situated far and away from each other. Would your clients like to sleep in the cool breeze of a jungle, as tropical birds sing and flutter about, filled with a sprawling and vast view of the ocean? Or perhaps you would like to sleep over the surf in this seaside villa and get as much warm sunshine as possible. A massive deck allows for a huge entertaining space. During the evening, you will be serenaded to sleep by the gentle lapping of tidal waters. Other villas trade the overwater experience for pristine sandy beaches, making it easy for kids to play and access the gentle surf. Can't choose between the villa in the hills and the ones on the water? This one provides for a cliffside experience. A long boardwalk hugging a cliff finally brings you to a perch like no other. A multi-tiered bungalow with plunge pools and decks at every level, and the bedroom at the top. The experience is like hovering over the ocean in almost a fictional surrounding. No matter the villa, each comes with a Fijian-styled contemporary feel. A plunge pool, small nooks and crannies with lounge chairs and alcoves to enjoy an intimate meal or drink, read a book or fall asleep with not a care in the world. There's a central lounge with stocked bar, two bedrooms, and two bathrooms for each villa in general. Situated up in the hills is the sprawling villa complex that provides spa services. Everything you could imagine from Swedish and Thai styles to aqua therapies, surrounded by small pools and waterfalls, and the peace of the flower-filled jungle. Lothala just may be the experience of a lifetime, as close to heaven on earth as possible. Fiji is an archipelago that you could spend a lifetime exploring with over a hundred inhabited islands. Some of the most noteworthy resorts in the world are found here, each with their own unique offerings for you. Some are remote and intimate, while others are more accessible and highly geared towards families with children, while others offer some of the most elite experiences in the world. Fiji is an easy one non-stop flight from Los Angeles and Fijians and people who call Fiji home are amongst the most relaxed and warm people you will ever encounter. <laughs>